Welcome to Brown's Rod and Custom, your home for street rods, muscle cars, and Volkswagen content. This is my dad, Big Ron. He's our body man and fabricator. This is my beautiful wife, Megan, our editor-in-chief and supporter. And this is me, Adam, the designer and mechanic for our projects. If you find our videos helpful, like and subscribe for more content. Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back to Brown's Rod and Custom. So, doing something a little different. I wanted to just kind of see if maybe you guys wanted to do this together. So, yesterday we got a bunch of parts from thingparts.com from Mike. This is one of them. This is one of the rubber dash pieces, right? And it's decent. It's physically in good shape, but it could use some refinishing, right? Um, so, I was trying to figure out what can I put on this? Is there a paint or a coating that I could put on this that would, that would really restore this um, back to an OE plus finish, right? Um, so what I did is I went ahead and I used oh my God. wax and grease remover, okay? And I wiped it down and, you know, I mean, you guys can see this. It's terrible, right? This is what came off of it getting attacked by beetles because <laughs> I opened up the uh, wax and grease remover they could smell it I guess all right so anyway so I wiped it down and we got to here we got all that off of there now what I'm gonna do I bring over here turn you over here you can see this I think you can see me I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna paint this just do a nice coat, one coat, nothing crazy on the off chance it doesn't work and I have to, uh, you know, do something different. That might work. All right, here we go guys, you ready? Oh, that does look good. Don't lie. Okay, so what I used on that, I got from O'Reilly's. It's Duplicolor Vinyl and Fabric uh, Specialty Coating. It's basically a flexible finish, okay? So it's ideal for use for dashboards, door panels, center consoles, trim, and seats. So it looks pretty damn good, I'm not gonna lie, but we'll see how this dries. I think I'm gonna give this a couple seconds, and then I'll hit it with another coat and then we'll check it out, kind of see what we think. Because it's soaking in pretty good. I can see a spot right here I want to hit again for sure. If this works, we'll go ahead and do all the trim pieces that go up there and restore all of them and have them ready to go, wrap them up, bubble wrap them. and girls that's all I'm gonna put on it let's let that dry I'll uh, grab you here sorry for the shaky camera taking off the tripod okay so here's what we got this is the wet finish I apologize if the lights terrible I can't even see the camera From uh, my vantage point, this looks fantastic. Uh, if it dries this way and stays this way and doesn't crack or smudge and smear and do all kinds of weird things, then we might be in business here, guys. So once again, Duplicolor Vinyl and Fabric Specialty Coating. All I did was I wiped it off with wax and grease remover, got the crap off of it, and then sprayed it. Let that dry for a second and then sprayed it. That was it. So, there you go, guys. I'll let you know here in a little bit how this turns out. I won't make you sit here for 30 minutes. And uh, if it turns out good, well, then uh, we might be onto something, boys. 
This might be something you can use to uh, restore your dash pieces. They're only held on by a couple, a couple bolts, a couple nuts. So, anyway, thanks for watching Brown's Riding Custom. I'll bring you back here in a little bit. And